Hi guys, this is Neil at Italia Autos here. I've received a, another freebie, which I said I would uh, give a review of. A genuine, honest review of this uh, jump starter pack. So, it comes in its nice little carry case. So it will go into the boot quite nicely of anybody's car. Now this is fresh out of the box. I've not looked at this before. It's quite big. There's all your connectors on the side. Let's have a look underneath it. We have a USB cable, a 12 volt connector for the cigarette socket, and a connector for the crocodile clips. The best thing to do is get the rest of the stuff out. So I've emptied everything out of the box so we can see what we've got. You've got your main jump start cables. I am a little bit concerned by how thick they are. They don't seem to be very thick, so transferring the ampage might be a little bit uh, difficult, but we'll find out when we test it. We've got a cigarette lighter adapter for you to start the car that way. We've got a, a USB mini cable to charge the unit up. We've got this in a little envelope which is a little thank you card from the AutoWit team. Got an instruction manual in several languages. It tells you exactly how to use it and what it does. And this is the unit itself. It's not too weighty. I'd probably say weighs about, probably less than a bag of sugar. Quite solidly built. It looks like it could take a knock if you dropped it on the floor. Waterproof connectors there. A little uh, display up there. So let's go over to my 145. The battery on that is currently dead. It's not been started in probably four or five months. So we shall see how well it does. Now this isn't your typical jump starter battery pack. It doesn't actually have a battery inside it. What it does have is some super capacitors inside it. So it will suck all the remaining leftover juice out the battery, charge up the super capacitors, and then let it all out in one go. Okay, we've got uh, probably about five pages of instructions. So it should be fairly simple to use. Uh, 12 volt battery charging time, it's saying should take three minutes, okay. So it just basically says connect both the clamps to the vehicle and we should have a buzzing sound for half a second. The negative. And do triple check you're doing this the right way around if you're ever doing it. Screen says auto wit. It says charging. So what I'll do now, I'll leave this to charge for three minutes as it said and come back to it. So I've not even had a chance to finish my coffee. It's been about seven minutes and I heard it beep from upstairs. So manual says, push the button on the side. It's getting ready to start it. Hearing the beeps. Okay, so it worked. I, I had my doubts, but um, yeah, it works. Let's go and try it on the uh, the big 3.2 GTA now. All right, let's just get round to the GTA. It has been hibernating in my booth for the last uh, two, three months since the clutch decided to uh, give up on it. Yep, turning the key and the alarm's just deciding it wants to try and go off. So let's get back around to the jump pack. Positive terminal first, negative. So I'm gonna leave that again for probably seven minutes until I can hear it go off again. Come back and see if it'll start the, uh, the big uh, 3.2 engine. So there we go, it will start a 3.2 V6 as well. So there we go, this is a proper lifesaver tool to be honest. I wish I'd had it when I broke down in my Julia the other week, it would have come in very handy indeed. 
but the main thing is with this it doesn't come with battery so it doesn't need charging you can leave it in your boot for a couple of years and then you'll come to your car one day it'll be dead Wop this uh, auto wit battery charger out and plug it in for seven minutes and you can be on your way again it also comes with a 10-year warranty unlike some of the other jump packs because they have batteries in them whereas this just has capacitors in them um it's not going to fail after 12 months so it is a proper good thing to have and keep in your boot to uh, keep you out of these situations